Hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So today we're going to do a general love reading. So this can be for soulmates, twin flames. Um, that's kind of how I'm doing the general love readings now. I'm going to look at just soul contracts, so people who are in soul contracts essentially. Um, but it could still be a reading even if you're not dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame, okay? It's just a storyline. But that's how I'm going to address it on the title moving forward, okay? Because I think it's just easier for people who are finding readings to be able to find it that way, okay? So let's take a look and see. If you guys want to book something personal with me, my information is down below, as well as access to a free guided meditation. If you deal with a lot of stress, worry, anxiety, um, you can try that out. People have found it very helpful. So you can just like play it while you're going to sleep or um, just whenever, whenever you feel stressful and it's free. Okay, so that's down below. All right, so let's jump into this and see what's going on here. Okay, so what is the overall theme between you and your person? Okay, so we have balancing the scales and contemplation. So someone is doing a lot of thinking about how they can bring balance back into the situation. So this could be you, you, you or your person. But someone's actually in their head a lot, maybe even overthinking. Yeah, their head might be overloaded. Like I feel like someone's almost, I know I don't see stress here, but I feel like someone's stressing about um, how to make something right, like how to restore balance, okay? Um, it's just like there's so much in their head though, is what I'm getting. Let's see. So I think this could be your person. I don't know if this is, it could be you. I'm just seeing a masculine figure here in the contemplation, but it could possibly be you. Well, let's take a look. So we're gonna start off with the past energy, but I'm changing that up a little bit because instead of how, they're, how you're seeing your person or how you're feeling about your person, we're actually gonna look at how you're seeing your person. Sorry, I mixed that up. Okay, so let's see. In the past, how were you viewing your person? How are you seeing your person? Okay. Okay, how are you seeing your person in the past? King of Pentacles, how are you seeing your person in the past? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so right off the bat with this, I feel like you were seeing your person as very focused on their money or their career, or you felt like your person was very maybe self-focused, like focusing on themselves or focusing a lot on the physical world. And you might have felt like this is why they weren't talking to you or this is why they were holding back communication. You felt like they had other you saw them as dealing with other things that um, might have been taking them away from communicating with you or talking with you, okay? Let's see, how your person was seeing you in the past? We have the three of swords in reverse. How was your person seeing you in the past? With the two of wands. So this person saw you as coming out of heartbreak, okay? Um, this person, how they saw you, the two of wands, this is interesting. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? This person might have saw you as waiting. I just want to see why. Oh. Okay, this person saw you as waiting for them. Okay. They felt like you were waiting for them. They felt like you might have been waiting for an apology from them. Okay. They know, they know that you were heartbroken over something and they know that you were trying to heal yourself from some sort of heartbreak and they feel like you were waiting for them to apologize. They actually were seeing you as still being very attached to them. Okay, that was their perception of this in the past. So let's take a look at the connecting energy. What's the connecting energy in the past spirit? Yeah, okay, so that makes sense. So if someone made the decision to move on or to distance themselves from this situation in the past, like someone moved on, someone left the situation, the way you saw them in the past is that they were focused elsewhere. So you were perceiving them as like they were focusing either on their money or just somewhere else, and that's why they weren't talking to you. How they saw you is that um, through this distance, they felt or they perceived you as still being heartbroken and waiting for them, like waiting for an apology. Um, and they actually felt like you were still very attached to them. So this is how they were perceiving you. So keep that in mind. That's how they saw you. So let's take a look at the current energy. So we'll look at how you're currently feeling about your person. Okay. I know some of you are like, yeah, I wasn't waiting for this person, but that's how they were perceiving you. So keep this in mind. It's not, it doesn't have to be what's actually going on. It's just how they saw you, right? Because this is how you saw them as well. Maybe that's not what's actually going on. So keep that in mind. So now we're going to look at what's actually happening. So what are the current feelings? So how are you currently feeling about your person? We have the three of wands in reverse, so maybe they were right. <laughs> so we have the three of wands in reverse, let's see. 
and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you actually were waiting for your person or you are waiting for your person. A lot of you guys are getting very impatient is what I'm seeing. Like this energy would tell me that you're feeling like you want to talk, you want to communicate. Because in the past, you were seeing this person as holding back from you, but I feel like you want to talk and you're getting impatient. So this person might have been quite on the money in terms of how you're feeling or how they perceived you. It's like they knew that you were waiting for them. And I'm getting here that you actually are. Three of Wands reverse. You might be getting impatient. Okay, let's see. You guys comment down below and let me know if this resonates. But let's see. How is your person feeling about you? The Ten of Wands in reverse. How is your person feeling about you? The King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so they're feeling quite overwhelmed with this. I feel like they do have deep emotion for you guys. So this King of Cups would indicate to me that this person does care about you. They do have deep emotions. But they don't know if they can put in the effort into this connection, okay? The Eight of Pentacles reverse would indicate that this person might not have what it takes to put in that effort. And it's almost like this is kind of weighing on them with the Ten of Wands. Let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Three of Pentacles. So there could be some sort of third party situation that's also weighing on them. So whether that is like a person, a situation, um, a job, whatever it is, there's some sort of third party energy that's weighing on them um, when it comes to this connection. So they don't know if they can put in this effort or this work, um, even though there is that deep emotion. So let's see what the connecting energy is. Let's see. What's the connecting energy? Yeah, so I'm getting here, connecting the two of you, there is this sort of lack of commitment with the Ten of Pentacles coming through in reverse. Um, so it's like, I, I'm not seeing a, a lot being committed here between you and your person. So there's a lack of commitment on your end and also their end, or there's just an issue with commitment here between you and this person. But let's take a deeper look with the mixed emotions and see. So how you're feeling about your person. Disgusted. Oof. Okay. And how your person is feeling about you. Vulnerable. Okay. So really interesting, guys. So you have this disgusted energy. Okay. Um, so you're feeling really repelled by something that they're doing or something that maybe they said. Let's take a look at this. Why is your energy coming through as disgusted? There's obviously something that they might have said or did. We have the Queen of Wands. Let's see. The Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I'm seeing two queens here. I'm seeing two female energies here. So there very well could be another person involved. And you guys are disgusted with this or you guys are feeling really repelled by this. So if you're in separation with this person and you know that there's someone else involved here, because I am seeing two court cards, which indicates other people. If you know that, you could be feeling really repelled by this energy, okay? So it's like there's this part of you that wants to talk with the Knight of Swords. But then with the Three of Wands in reverse, I'm getting here... Um, you might not be, like you might be kind of staying in your comfort zone or you're getting impatient. Either way, it could go either way, okay? Um, let's see here. But your person's feeling very vulnerable right now. Okay, let's see why. So they're not feeling confident about something. This person right now, when it comes to you, they feel very like emotionally wide open, very vulnerable, almost helpless. They are struggling with their confidence right now. Why is this coming through? Vulnerable. The King of Swords in reverse. Okay. They're also struggling to make a decision about you as well. I feel like this person is trying to detach themselves from you emotionally because they're feeling so vulnerable. Okay. Let's take a look and see what their messages are. So I'm not sure if this is going to resonate with all of you guys, um, but definitely comment down below and let me know. So let's see what their messages are for you. Okay. What are their messages for you? Okay, so yeah, for some of you guys, we have, I'm still healing wounds from a past relationship. So for some of you guys, that could be what this Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles is. Some of you, this might not be current energy. This could be that this is some sort of weight or baggage from a past relationship that they haven't gotten over. Um, for some of you, for some of you, uh, it could be a marriage that they're in or a, a marriage that didn't go well or some sort of... Um, 
like divorce that end, didn't end well or someone needs to get divorced. Like some of you guys, this third party could be more of a committed type of energy, like a marriage, something like that. Okay. But for some of you guys, um, your person, there could have been something that happened in a past relationship and they haven't dealt with it. So they're still carrying this baggage. So it's like, even though they have these emotions for you, they don't feel like they can put in that effort because they haven't healed. All right. They're also really worried that you're not going to accept them for who they really are. So this person might think that you don't have the correct idea of who they are. Maybe they feel like you haven't seen the true, the, like who they really are. They might think that you have seen kind of the mask that they wear and they're worried that if you find out who they really are, that you won't accept them. Okay. This person is very drawn to you right now though. We have your smile makes me melt. So this person is very attracted to you. They think you're beautiful. Um, they think you have a nice smile. Let's take a look at this. What if you don't accept me for who I really am? I feel like this is related to the lack of confidence. Six of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? The Page of Wands. So this person does want to talk. Um, Page of Wands, I feel like they do want to communicate, but this person is really worried about you accepting them. Okay, let's clarify this. I'm still healing wounds from a past relationship. The Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, if they're slow moving to apologize, for some of you guys, I know you're waiting for an apology. If they're slow moving to apologize to you, this is because this person has trust issues, um, but also it's like because of their past history, because of these past wounds, it's slowing them down in terms of making an emotional offer to you. Okay, so let's see what you guys are both wanting. you're wanting with your person what is it that you're wanting with your person we have three of cups what is it that you're wanting with your person we have the ace of pentacles in reverse yeah so i'm getting a lack of commitment um Okay, let me just see here. Let's see what they're wanting with you, and then I'll clarify that. I, I think there could be a third party. For some of you guys, you have someone else. Um, that Your person might have someone else. You might have someone else, though. Okay, um, let me see here. What is it that your person's wanting? Your person's... Your person wants to give to you, but they have fears, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles with the Moon. So currently, what your person wants with you, they want to give to you, but they have fears about doing that. I think they're unsure if they should. What is their fear about? Why is the Moon here? Yeah, it's like they, are, they don't want to make the wrong decision. We have the Two of Wands. They don't want to make the wrong decision. So I don't know what it is, but this person, it's like they want to give to you, but they're not sure if it's the right decision or if it's the right time. Let's see why the Three of Cups is here for your energy, what you're wanting. The Four of Swords, why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed for you? Nine of Cups. For some of you guys, what I'm getting here is that you're wanting... Um, it's like there's a part of you here that wants... So I think this is kind of a mixed energy. So I'm, I feel like it's kind of splitting into two different storylines here for in terms of what you guys are wanting. Some of you guys... So this might be your story. Some of you guys are wanting to reconcile with this person. Three of Cups, this is about coming together, getting out of separation, Four of Swords, Reverse. Some of you guys want to reconcile with your person. But then I'm getting the other half of you guys, or maybe just some of you, you actually don't want anything with this person right now. Like you actually don't want something committed. You want to focus on yourself, Nine of Cups. This is like self-fulfillment, being on your own. But you notice this person is just floating by herself in her own happiness. So some of you guys actually aren't even really wanting anything committed. You're just wanting to focus on yourself. But then the other half of you are wanting to reconcile because you're wanting to get out of this separation. Okay, so it could go either way. All right. So let's see what the advice is for you. Um, I'm not doing any action cards. I do action cards in uh, our future action for the next few weeks in my personal readings because that shift and change for everyone. Um, but if you guys want to book something personal, feel free to. At the end of every reading that I do, I, I will do um, the future action for the next two to three weeks from your person, okay? But let's see what the advice is for you. If this story resonated, all right, let's see. What is the advice for you? What is the advice for those who are watching, Spirit? What is the advice for those who are watching? 
Milk and Honey. I forget what this card is, but I know it's a good one. Let's see. 51. Let's see. So it says, for the relationship message, it says, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you'll be nourished with the honey of abundance. Okay, so I'm getting a pretty positive energy. Um, Spirit is also wanting you to trust that your needs will be met. Okay, I feel like there's a new wave of positive energy coming in for you. Um, whether it's related to this connection or not, I'm just getting here that, especially for those of you who are in that nine of cups energy, remember how I was splitting into two stories? The people who are really um, basking in like their own self-love right now, I feel like your needs are going to be met. Like you're going to experience um, a lot of happiness. Like you're over the next few weeks, um, you're going to realize, that you're going to feel sort of like, the comfort and the love of the universe. Like you're going to be very provided for. So I'm getting a really positive message. And for some of you guys, this could be related to the person where you're going to feel this connection and this passionate romance with this person that you're inquiring about. Um, it's all going to depend on, like I said, it's going to depend on the future action of each individual person. Um, but for those of you, for the person that's going to reach out to you and make some sort of move towards you, whoever, if they're going to get over their fear of doing that, I feel like this could lead to something really beautiful with you and your person. Okay. Um, yeah, like whatever you've had calling in your heart, like whatever your heart has been wanting or um, desiring, I feel like this is going to be fulfilled. So this is a really, this is actually a very positive message to come out. Okay, um, so that's what I have for you guys. So I do hope that this reading was helpful. Again, if you wanted to book a personal reading, my information is down below. But I am sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journey. Take care.